Okay, so I, just like before, I did one dimensional linear drag with a horizontal motion, and now I want to do vertical motion with gravity, and I've already done the analytical solution. Let me just fill you in in case you missed it. Okay, so here I have in vector form, let's say the ball is moving down, I have the gravitational force pulling down, and then the drag force is proportional to the velocity, so negative BV, that would make it up, because uh, in the y direction, the velocity is down, so the force would be up. Uh, so it's opposite the direction of the velocity. So now one of the things to solve this problem is we have this VT term, which is the terminal velocity. So if the ball keeps speeding up until the drag force is equal to the gravitational force, then it will no longer speed up. And that is the terminal velocity. So uh, with that, making a substitution, you can get it into a form that is very similar to the other form of uh linear drag without a gravitational force. And here is the solution I get, and I don't even know if this is 100% correct, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is my velocity as a function of time that I got analytically. That VT is that terminal velocity term, and then it does uh, slow down, um, or stop speeding up, I'm sorry, sorry, stop speeding up as much. Uh, when T gets to be uh, really great, then this term becomes one. Okay. So, and then if you use that, you integrate, you can get the position function. I get this, which I'm not as positive about, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So I'm going to plot this function for a falling ball. Just I'm going to use this Python to calculate that. And then I'm going to do a numerical calculation where I uh, calculate the acceleration based on the forces and then use that to calculate the velocity. So uh, the first step is to be to calculate this acceleration, use that to update the velocity and then use that to update the position and keep doing that over and over again. Let's get started. Uh, so let's make a velocity time graph first. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the graph here. GT graph is, uh, the temp graph is the object of graph. The X title is gonna be equal to time in seconds. And the Y title is going to be equal to the velocity. I guess it's the Y velocity. The velocity meters per second. And then I'll say F1 uh, equals G curve, color equals color, color dot blue. And then just like before, I will uh, plot the uh, dots. I won't calculate as many points just because it's easier to see. So F2 is going to be G dots. So G dots is a function in Python, in Glow Script Python, that doesn't connect the, lot, the dots. It just draws the dots. So let's say uh, color equals color dot red. And I think I made this a size 10, but I don't really remember. Okay, now the next thing I need is my initial conditions. I better save this because you know tragedy is going to happen. Um, vertical linear drag. Yo. I, f I figured I'd add a yo in there because, you know, you just never know when you're going to need that. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to need G is 9.8. I've already calculated, I've already taken into account it's downward, so I don't need to put negative 9.8. I need the initial velocity V0 equals uh, 0, release from rest. I need the uh, B parameter. I use B as 1 and M is equal to 1, um, but we can change that up. Uh, the other, I do need Y0 equals 0, um, and then I need, I'm going to go ahead and calculate for V terminal. VT is going to be equal to, just like I said before, negative m times g divided by v. Is that right? I feel like I, I've just forgotten. Yeah. It is over v. And, you know, this negative sign means it, it's moving down. And, and it does matter when you solve that. I mean, uh, I've seen some people solve this by saying y, positive y is down, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. So, okay, so we're going to do a numerical model first. Uh, so the, the, I do need y equals y0. I need to start at some spot. v equals v0. Because y and v are my variables that change. Okay, not the starting ones. Those, so I do need to set those. I also need t equals 0 and dt. Before I had 0 0.001, I think I found was a good value. I'm just going to stick with that. And then I'll say while t is less than 10, um, colon, so the first thing I'm going to do is to calculate the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be equal to uh, the gravitational force, negative m times g, minus 
actually, I divide by m, right? So it's going to be negative g minus b times v divided by m. Yeah. So this is my uh, gravitational force divided by m, and this is my drag force divided by m. Um, so if, you know, velocity is going to be negative, a negative value, because it's going in the negative y direction. So this will give me a, an acceleration that gets smaller as time goes on. So that is what you would expect. Okay. Now I can use that to update the velocity, v equals v plus a times dt. Uh, and again, that is not an algebraic equal sign. Do I have to say this every time? I'm not going to say it. y equals y plus v times dt. This is the Euler method of numerical calculations. It's the simplest. It's not the most accurate, but I like to use it because people understand it better. Uh, and then I need to, I need, I'm going to plot f1 dot plot. Um, I'm plotting the velocity. So that is equal to t v. And now I'm going to update time. t equals t plus dt. I think that's okay. I think that should work. Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so it starts off with a zero velocity, it increases the negative direction, and then reaches some constant, you know, value. That looks good. Okay, now let's uh, plot, let's say, uh, t equals zero, and I'm going to say, I can't remember how to do this, let's say ddt, let's say call it dt2 equals um, 0.2. I'm just picking a value. And then again, I'm going to say while t is less than 10, uh, all I need to do is calculate the velocity as a function of time. So I need to know the time I can calculate this velocity. So I'm using this form right here. Uh, I wish I could just, um, I'm going to, let's, let me open that up in a separate window because I, I have trouble memorizing things, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see if I can see, there it is. Okay, let's move this over here. Cool, cool. Okay, so now I'm going to say I'm. This is not an update formula. I can say v equals v t, uh, v t, plus v zero minus v t times uh, the exponential of negative v times t divided by m. Now I'm going to plot that f two dot plot t v. Uh, I should probably call this V2, VP for V prime. How about that? I think it'd work. Uh, and then I'm going to update time, T equals T plus DT. So I'm plotting this first to see if it agrees, because if it doesn't agree, then my other function is not going to agree, and I'm going to have to just delete this video or something. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm scared. Something happened. Oh. T, DT. Ah, that's why I have too many dots. I did dt instead of dt2, but it looks like it works. Yeah, check that out, huh? What do you think? Let's do this 0.5. Check it. Okay, that's a win for me. Now we're going to look at the y position. So let's just change this title up here. Positino position meters. Okay, uh, everything else is good. I just need to come down here and I'm going to plot y as a function of time. And then down here, I need to calculate the new y. So I'm going to say yp for the plotting y is going to be equal to, and I'm looking back at that equation over here that I have in my other windows so I can see it. Uh, it's going to be y0 plus vt times t plus exponential negative v times t divided by m minus 1 times vt times m divided by v minus v0 times m divided by v. I'll tell you right now, I'm not 100% confident this is going to work. Okay, I'm just letting you know. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you here. Okay, I feel like there's a lot more chance for error. I did some algebra. There could be an algebraic mistake. You just never know. Okay, let's run it. Uh, 
If it doesn't work, I think I'm not going to delete the video since I got the first playthrough. What the heck? I won! Yay! Look at that. Okay, let's just change this. Let's make it look a little cooler. So put a little bit less drag on there. Uh, let's just increase the math by a factor of 10 see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. There you go. It's just like art. You know, you're looking at it, it's like, it worked, and I didn't have any syntax errors, and I didn't have an algebraic error, and I don't know. It's just like, yeah. Okay. I don't want to end this video because I'm just too excited. Okay. Uh, next thing we need to do is um, we're going to do one more, maybe a couple more projectile motion problems uh, with error resistance, but uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Cool.